you guys iTech every week, and the another jailbreak for iOS 5 for the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 has finally come. Um, it, I got a post here in the iPhone Dev Team blog uh, with some information about it, um, and I, there's also a post on Pat 2G's blog if you want to check out his post. Um, I'll have both of the links in the description. Uh, so if you want to read through that, uh, this one's this post has got some information on the jailbreak, and uh, so does the iPhone 10 Team's blog. This one goes a little bit more in depth, so I'd recommend reading this one. Um, but you can read either one of them or both of them if you would like. Uh, but here are the uh, versions. So I'm going to be explaining um, all the softwares that it'll work for, and I'll be explaining the unlock and everything for the iPhone 4S and everything that's going on there. Um, so the jailbreak will work for 5.0 on the iPhone 4S. Um, it'll also work for 5.0.1, build number 9A405 or 9A406. Um, they released 06 a little bit after 05. I believe people were having some problems with their SIM card or something like that, so they released 06 to fix those problems. Um, and for the iPad 2, it will be for the Wi-Fi only model, the uh, the CDMA, and the GSM uh, model. So it'll work for all those, For so it'll be any version of the iPad 2 uh, running 5.0.1. Uh, now the unlock for the 4S will be for only 5.0. Uh, which will be coming out sometime in the future here. So make sure to stay on 5.0 if you are running the iPhone 4S and you want to unlock it. Um, otherwise, you can go ahead and update to 5.0.1 and jailbreak on either one of these build numbers. Now, I want to cover that information, and I also do want to make sure that you guys back up your, your stuff in iTunes. I'm currently restoring my uh, 4S. Um, I ran into some problems with the jailbreak, and it wasn't working for me. Uh, so I, this is actually the second time I'm filming, the, filming this video. Um, but right now, I'm, I'm restoring it, but basically just take all your stuff to iTunes, um, and then right click on your device over here and hit backup. It'll there'll be an option to back it up. So make sure you get a backup saved and make sure you sync all your data and everything. And I'm sorry if I'm going through this kind of fast, but uh, I just want to get through this video. So I want to make sure you guys understand all that. And because this jailbreak is new and it's a little bit different, I actually already figured out that like what it does is it actually puts an app um, of the jailbreak on your phone and then you click on that to open it up. And then you have to end up clicking on uh, that app to jailbreak it. It's kind of like um, and what was it? It was. It's kind of like Green Poison itself, actually. So it is. So it's kind of like Green Poison, and it actually is a version of Green Poison. It's called Absinthe. Um, right now, I can't get the Green Poison site to load up. Uh, there have been some problems with the database, but anyway, I got it downloaded previously already. Um, so it is called Absinthe. So that is uh, what it looks like right here. Uh, so it is a version of Green Poison, and I'll have the link in the description uh, so you guys can get that. But again, there's there have been some problems with. Uh, the database. There's so many people probably trying to get to the website. That's that is why. So my phone has restored now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that all set up, and then I'll come with the tutorial. Um, and again, I'm gonna refer back to the iPhone Dev Team uh, post here. Um, they said because it is a new jailbreak and it's something they never done before. They said right here the A5 Corona jailbreak has never been done before. Um, and they said that there may be some unforeseen problems uh, when you're jailbreaking. So if you guys run into any problems. Comment down below and I'll try to fix those. I can't guarantee to fix your problems, but I can uh, definitely try to help you guys. Uh, but really, it can't really like break your phone or anything like that. It's not going to mess anything up, really. Um, the only thing, the worst thing that can happen is you have to restore. Uh, so you want to go ahead and back up your phone and everything in iTunes, like I already said. And if any problems happen, uh, like have happened to me, uh, just go ahead and restore and you should be okay. Um, also, make sure you do not have a passcode set while jailbreaking because you have to tap on the icon after it's jailbroken. I don't know if for, for some reason uh, there may be a problem uh, when you slide to unlock for the first time after the jailbreak goes through, and you have to tap on that icon. Um, having a passcode set may somehow mess something up. So just so make sure you have uh, your passcode off. But my phone has just finished restoring, so let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. So go ahead and open up Absinthe when you have it downloaded your computer. Right now it is actually only available for Mac, but there will, there will be a Windows link uh, coming soon. Um, and actually, I think there was a Linux link too. So they'll have it for Linux, Mac, and uh, Windows. Um, and right now it is only for Mac, but there will be a version coming out for Windows soon. Uh, and it actually, so, so Absinthe detects what uh, device I have. Um, and I do not have a passcode set. If I had a passcode set, it'd say air down here, and it'll explain um, that you have to turn it off. So make sure you have um, iTunes closed out of. Uh, because it may interfere with this jailbreak while it's going on. Uh, but you're going to go ahead and just click jailbreak. Uh, and make sure you leave your device alone. Uh, just set it down. Do not touch it or anything. Last time I actually slide to unlock before it finished everything. And like it, it, it says um, don't touch your device yet. Uh, but it said that right after I already touched it. Like so my phone started up and um, I slide to unlock and everything. And I went through my phone and seen if anything happened yet. Uh, but it actually, and then right after I did that, it said not to touch it. So just make sure you don't touch your device at any point of this jailbreak. Um, right now it says restore in progress on my phone, and I don't even think you have to. Do, I don't believe you have to do DFU mode. So far, um, 
through progress that I've gotten through this jailbreak, I haven't had to enter DFU mode yet, so I don't believe you have to. Uh, but I can't even check the green port and right now because the database has uh, gotten some problems right now. Uh, but right now it's just waiting for my boot. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out this jailbreak by myself because I have I wasn't able to read through their post that they had uh, because the site is down. Um, but now my device is booting up. And it actually started booting up and it showed the Apple logo. And now it's actually got the uh, little spinning dial. And now it's got the restore progress going on. It's got like the Apple logo with the bar underneath it. Um, and it's loading up kind of like how you just restored. Um, so now it's just waiting for device to finish rebooting. My device has uh, booted up. Uh, make sure you guys do not touch it yet, because that's what I did. I touched it right when it unlocked. Um, see, like Green Poison does not say not to touch it yet. So just make sure you don't touch it. Uh, that's one problem I ran into. And I was, um, okay, so, so now it says I do not touch your device yet. Um, I actually recorded a video um, explaining both of these posts, and I went really uh, like thorough into them. I didn't think it would be released as quick. So what happened was I, re I um, recorded that video and everything. And I was in the middle of editing it. And then I happened to look on Twitter and... Um, that's when the that's when I noticed that the jailbreak was released. So I ended up trashing that video because um, I figured I'd go through most of it on here anyway. But you guys want to read uh, through the post? Um, I'll have those in the description. The uh, the program absinthe is it says uh, it's sending the payload. Now it's almost done. Um, now go ahead and slide to unlock it. It looks like it's okay to do so now. Uh, so it asks for my FaceTime password. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, but there is the uh, icon right there, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I got an error. Um, should error establish, establishing a database connection. So that's probably what the problem was previously. Uh, so actually, I probably didn't have to restore my phone and everything like I did. Um, so that's going to suck sinking everything back. Uh, but uh, it, apparently, it's actually because of their website. So I'll come back later when they got everything uh, situated with this database connection stuff. And I'll be uh, right back. So I just went on Twitter and I read some posts by Pod2G. And he said there's a VPN tunnel or something. And uh, you can see on my device. Oh, okay, actually, it's rebooting right now. Um, but it actually, there's something called VPN. And if you went to your settings app, it's, you can uh, turn it to on. And it may fix that uh, database connection. I think that's what it's meant for. I'm not exactly sure what VPN even is. Uh, I think it has something to do with like private browsing on a network or something like that. Um, I'm not positive. I can't remember. Um, I looked into it a while ago, and I don't remember exactly what it was. Uh, but if you guys uh, jailbreak your device and you're getting some problems, go ahead and turn that VPN option to on um, in your settings app and see if you can uh, then connect uh, to uh, the Green Poison website. Uh, but my device right now is rebooting and doing a whole bunch of other stuff that, I don't know, it's it's acting weird. But, <laughs> uh, but it has just booted up, so I'm going to slide to unlock it. And, okay, there is Cydia, so it actually just worked. Um, so I went into the settings app. And the VPN is option is now gone. So what I did first was it had right where City is right now. It had the um, it had the abstinence icon right there. I click I clicked on that and then I got an error establishing database. Um, the same thing it says on my computer. If we check right now, um, you can see it says that. Uh, so I got that same error. And um, what I did was I just checked Twitter and Pod2G. I'll go to Twitter right now. Uh, he said right there, uh, you can uh, go to VPN tunnel. Uh, and he says the one that is created by Absinthe on your iOS device. And I turned that to on, and it said it gave me an error when it, I turned it on, and then it actually rebooted my device, and now City is there. So whatever that did, it worked. So when it says VPN in settings, it says it like right underneath Wi-Fi. Turn that to on, and it should work. Your device will reboot, and City is on there. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what happens here. Uh, it says preparing the file system. And I'm extremely excited about this. This is my first jailbroken iPhone. Uh, so I want to see how the jailbreak runs on it. Um, of course, it's got more RAM than iPod Touch, which was my previous device. Uh, so I am curious to see how much better it runs on this. I'm going to apologize now, guys, for this video. Uh, it's not going along uh, too well. It may be a lot better once I edit it, but um, if it's a little bit sloppy, I'm, I apologize for that because this is not. Uh, this is my first time jailbreak with this program, so it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, but it's still preparing the file system, so I'll be back when this. Okay, never mind. It's just finished. <laughs> uh, but uh, there is this spinner wheel and it just re it just respring and a slide to unlock there is city let's go ahead and open that up we get the normal option I'm going to choose developer it's loading taking a little bit but let's get in there and I just want to go ahead and show you guys that 
Uh, abstinence does realize that my device is jailbroken because it has restarted and going back to the main page. So I'm going to go ahead and actually exit out of that. Um, again, the, uh, the Windows and Linux version will be out soon. I'm not sure who runs Linux, but if you do, they got it. So, uh, City is loading up. It's taking a little bit, but it's loading. I'm just going to try to go through some of this. The About section, Networks, Sections, Changes, Manage, the Search. Um, so right now, the home page is the only thing not loading up. Another thing I want to apologize, guys, while this is loading, while this is loading up. Um, I said that I would release a video saying it's been released, and then have my tutorial follow-up after that. Uh, well, it just, like, I, I was in the middle of um, editing a previous video about uh, both of these posts here. Um, as you can see, both of these posts here, I... Uh, I was in the middle of editing that, and then I was going to go ahead and upload that video. I didn't expect the jailbreak to come out that fast, but it did. So then I just trashed that video, like I uh, previously said already. And then I just went ahead and went with a tutorial. But uh, So I apologize for that, because I um, I did say I would do that, but I have not done that. Uh, so I apologize for that, but I'm going to go ahead and Cydia has not uh, finished up. So I'm going to go ahead and reload that. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on. It might be my network. I'm going to go ahead and... Switch over to 3G, see what happens there. Yep, it was my network. So, uh, city loaded up perfectly fine now. Uh, this is a 4S though. Um, here's Sir running on it. How's the weather? So, there you go, you can see Sir is working fine. Here's the forecast. Maybe not so nice today through this Wednesday. Uh, so you can see Siri works perfectly fine. City is working. It's got my SHSH files loaded up there um, that you can save with Tiny Umbrella. I would recommend doing that, guys. You you would want to save all your SHSH files in case Apple releases a new software and, and somebody managed to update that. There is no way of getting back unless you um, unless you go ahead and save your SHSH files. But everything's working. You can see. It. I'm gonna go ahead and install some stuff on this and see how it works. Uh, that is a jailbreak, guys. Uh, I am definitely excited to get using my 4S, but as you can see, everything works. I'm going to switch over to the computer and finish up this video. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. Um, if you if everything worked perfectly fine and it went through smoothly, uh, that's definitely great. Mine, the first time I did it, did not work out too well. I had to go ahead and restore my phone and try it again. Um, and I actually didn't know that there was – what probably would have fixed that problem was, like I explained, there's the VPN option um, in your settings app after you restore, and I turned that to on. And that's when it jailbroke. So if I did that the first time, it may have worked. But um, either way, uh, we got it solved now. And I got it, my jailbroken for us. So I'm extremely happy right now. But um, Green Poison, the website, uh, it's still getting me some errors. So uh, they'll probably get that fixed up soon. Uh, but uh, just be patient, guys, until they get that sorted out. I'll have the link in the description for Abstinence itself. Um, because this is taking so long, I may just upload uh, abstinence to uh, some sort of website and uh, you guys can get it there and I'll put my own personal link up uh, for it for Mac so uh, so it is only for Mac right now I haven't seen a Windows or Linux link out yet uh, because Green Poison site is down um, and still down uh, but I'll put the links in the description for this post this post and the Green Poison website so you can get the link and if you're getting this error uh, just be patient until they get it sorted out and, and that way you can get your uh, program uh, but check in the description. Just keep checking the description uh, for all the links and get the update, the updated links and everything for the different operating systems. Again, I apologize for this video being a little bit sloppy uh, because this was my first time jailbreaking that program, so, uh, it, so I ran into some problems and I wasn't sure how everything worked. If you guys run into any problems, go ahead and comment down below, and I'll uh, respond to that and try to help you out with your problem. I know sometimes the first time you ever jailbreak your device, like if it's never been jailbroken before, it tries to install like the device drivers and stuff to your computer when you enter DFU mode. Uh, well, this jailbreak, you don't have to enter DFU mode, so that's not a problem, and everything should work okay. But if you do run into any problems, um, go ahead and comment down below, and I'll respond to that and try to help you out with your problem. That is basically it. I'd appreciate a like, guys, down below. That helps me out. Um, and also make sure to subscribe up top to get all my upcoming videos and everything. Um, and also follow me on Twitter to get all the updates going on. Like I'll be tweeting out when this when Green Poison's up and running. I'll be tweeting out when I update my links uh, for my video, uh, so you can get the downloads and everything. Uh, so go ahead and follow me on Twitter. My Twitter username is the same as my YouTube username. I check every week, and that is pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna get using my 4S now, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you later.